In this lecture, we'll go over a few definitions from the glossary to ensure you understand the parts of a news story, as illustrated in this image. The headline is what is essentially the title of the story, written by copy editors and set in big type that summarizes the story so readers will know whether they want to read more. In this example from the textbook Inside Reporting by Tim Harrower, the headline reads, Freeway Closed as Ornery Oinker Hogs Traffic. The more colorful and clever the headline, the more likely it is it will interest readers. Your deck is a subheadline, also written by copy editors, that supplements information in the main headline. Keep reading to learn how a pig named Mama falls off the freeway, causing hours of commuter chaos. Now a story won't always have a deck, but they can be helpful to better explain the headline. Next up is the byline. That's the writer's name as it appears at the beginning of the story, followed by credentials like staff writer or news editor. Here, Susan Paisano is a staff reporter for the newspaper. The dateline comes below the byline before the actual story starts. This gives the location of a story that happened outside the paper's normal coverage area. If our newspaper was based in Durham, we wouldn't need to put Durham as the dateline for every story we wrote. Instead, we would use it to indicate the story happened in another area, like Portland, Oregon, in this case. The story itself starts with the lead the first paragraph of a story. After the headline and deck, this is where we need to hook our readers with the who, what, when, where, why, and how of our story. Westbound traffic on Interstate 84 was backed up for nearly five miles early Monday when Mama, a 600 pound hog on the way to slaughter, fell from the back of a truck. That's the lead for this particular story. Now, stories often include quotes, someone's exact words, enclosed by quotation marks. Here, truck driver Fred Michelson provides some colorful commentary on Mama's predicament. The attribution is the phrase that tells and identifies the source of a quote or other information used in the story. Our story author attributes the quote to Michelson and information from the local police. Moving on to the other side of the story, you'll see a photo, a picture that can run in either color or black and white to help illustrate the story. Here, highway workers use a loader to help get Mama back on the truck. Underneath the photo is the caption, words identifying people in the photo, if possible by their names, and relating it to the accompanying story. Ideally, the photographer would be able to identify those highway workers by name but the job title does work too. At the end of the caption is the photographer's name, called the photo credit. Craig Scatalera is our photographer here. A pull quote is a quotation from the story that's given special graphic emphasis. It's pulled out of the paper to pull in readers. The quote, that pig really honked off a lot of commuters, is from Oregon State Police Trooper, Tracy Collins. A tagline is contact information for the reporter at the end of the story that allows readers to provide feedback. This tagline says staff reporter Sue Pesano covers traffic and transportation issues for the newspaper and gives her email address at the paper. And finally, the body copy is the main text of the story. That's everything from the lead to the tagline that makes up our story.